hi students uh, let's continue with this uh, sliding window protocol in the previous video i just explained about the uh, go back and one of, that is one of the sliding window protocol now let's see the selective repeat protocol the selective repeat protocol retransmits only that frame which is damaged or not so you just see the difference between go back and selective repeat so in the go back it retransmits all the frames after the frame was whatever the frame that was damaged it retransmits all the frames but here in selective repeat it retransmits it retransmits only that frame which is damaged or lost which is damaged or lost only the frame which was which is damaged or lost that frame only retransmits okay whereas in go back it go back all frames will be retransmitted but here only the damaged only that frame which is damaged or lost will be retransmitted so the selective repeat protocol can perform some of the actions like the receiver is capable for store of uh, sorting the frame in proper sequence so let me write those points so that you will be understood the receiver is capable of sorting the frame of sorting the frame in proper sequence proper sequence so whatever the data that is receiving by the receiver the receiver can capable of sorting the frames in a proper sequence and next the sender must be capable of searching the frame of which for which negative acknowledgement has been received means the sender is having the buffer okay by checking in the buffer okay the negative acknowledgement is on data 3 so i have to send the data 3 again so it just take the data 3 from sender buffer and just transmit only that particular frame instead of sending all the frames so that is one more action that this uh, selective repeat can do the sender must be capable of searching the frame for which negative acknowledgement has been received has been received so and next the receiver must contain the buffer to store all the previous received frame on hold till the retransmission frame is sorted and placed in a proper sequence so the re receiver is also having the buffer and it it requires the less window size it requires less window size as compared to go back and protocol as compared to go back and protocol okay so these are the different actions this uh, selective repeat can do let me explain with simple example so here the sender was there and the receiver was there it's a simple concept just like go back and but only the damaged frame can be retransmitted so first data zero is assigned the data zero okay the receiver received next data one next data two like that simply i'm sending i'm the sender i'm sending data three data four so at one time i received one message like negative acknowledge two so i received i'm the sender i received the negative acknowledge two means the two frame was damaged so whenever it is damaged only the data two was discarded not all the fra uh, frames only the data two was discarded so negative acknowledgement two whenever the, uh, i see the negative acknowledgement two i use it to retransmit the data recent what i have to recent only the data two so i'll check in the buffer so where is the two so whenever I see the two, just I'll just retransmit that data two. Okay. So and I proceed with the next thing. What is the next data? Data four, data five, data six, like this. So 
So this is the only difference between the uh, go back and protocol and in the go back and whenever the data 2 is damaged all the remaining data 3 data 4 is also discarded but in the selective repeat selective repeat only the selected one has to be repeated the name itself is indicating only the selective data has to be recent again the remaining thing you have to be continue as usual okay so this is a selective repeat protocol thank you